To take a screenshot, we need to cast our driver object to a takes screenshot object. Let me show you how to do that. So in parentheses, we want to add the class takes screenshot, and then outside of the parentheses, we'll specify driver. And we're going to store this in a variable. Let's call it camera. Great, now with this camera, we can have access to a method called get screenshots as. And this will take the screenshot with the output type that we specify. So the output type is an enum and we can say output type dot and specify file. And this will save it as a file. Now we want to store this in a variable. So let's say file and we'll call it screenshot. Perfect. Now, this is all we need to take the screenshot. However, this is going to store that screenshot in an obscure location. Let's move this to a place that we can easily find. So inside of my project here, I have a folder called resources and another folder called images. I want the screenshot to save here. So we're going to say files, and notice I'm using the com.google.com.io package. So I'm going to say files.move. And inside of this move, we're going to say take the screenshot that we have stored there, and we want to move this to a new file location, and we're going to specify the path, which can be relative. So we're going to say resources slash images, and then we're going to give that file a name. So we'll say page.png. Perfect. Notice here we do have a little compilation error. If we hover here, it says that we have an unhandled exception, and that exception is an IO exception. So we need to wrap this in a try catch block. So we'll say try to move the file. And in case of an IO exception, go ahead and catch it and just print the stack trace to the console. And that's it. That's all we need to take the screenshot. Let's go ahead and run it just so that you can see the screenshot that's taken. Okay, our test has passed and we look under here and yep, now we have this page.png file and see here we have a screenshot.